Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new, we do movie and series reviews with monthly wrap up tier lists with the occasional random ranking and then a sprinkle of board game uh, content as well. Now we are here to talk about season three of The Boys. It just finished a few days ago. I did review season one and season two, so I'll put a little card up here. So let's get on with this. This is one of my favorite um, series currently streaming. This is an original Amazon Prime series and and it is a superhero series for those of you who are actually not familiar but it's a very very R-rated mature audience superhero movie this is what Marvel and DC go nowhere near <laughs> because this is just pure 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 chaos we actually did jump forward a year in time from when we left them off in season two just because of the pandemic uh, now in uh, this season, uh, well, starting off in this season, we do find out that the boys are working for the government, uh, for the federal of superhero, or I don't know, I can't remember what it's, what it's actually called. Uh, but Huey is actually working in the office. Well, they're all part of it, but Huey's like in the office, like they're first time trying to fight superheroes or trying to, you know, see where they're where they're at, and then send off the other boys, you know, Butcher and Frenchie and uh, Kimiko um, off to. Nap them. Now the boys of course is very very well known for its guts and blood and sex and violence and like it's a lot right? Season 1 we did it was like oh shit like this is something to the next level. We got the same thing in season 2 of course we just kind of keep adding adding add more to it. Season 3 again no exception we got guts we got blood we got uh violence sex uh orgies <laughs> um family reunions i mean it's a bunch of things but i think at this particular point a lot of it is not as shocking as it was in the beginning part of it mind you i still absolutely love the series uh let's see here now starting off with episode one i'm not gonna go episode or episode but i just i'm sure everybody's talking about this in the reviews but this is like the only spoiler that i'm going to give you just kind of get you into watching the show or maybe just you'll know that this show is maybe not for you and i know i just recently said that it's not really like that shocking anymore but it does still have like some shocking moments or rather some like what the fuck oh my god funny ass moments because that ep first episode really really like cracked me up uh, so we have a version of Atman here, which I believe I saw a video of Atman and the Wasp doing some sort of thing at Disney, and they're talking about Thor, not Thor, um, Thanos, and why did he shrink to go up his ass so and do this, and my and <laughs> that's supposed to be going to this thing over here. Okay, so Atman version here shrinks down. Okay, he's about to get like nasty with somebody next thing we know this guy like puts his penis boom on the, <laughs> on the table and then here comes this Ant-Man version I don't remember his name Psh, goes into his penis and he's like I don't make you feel good okay and then like I don't know what happened but he sneezed and, psh, and like expanded into real size and like obviously you know like killed the poor guy through his penis it was hilarious you guys that's just literally how ridiculous and crazy the minds of the creators this season we did also dive a little bit more into like backstories and had a lot of like subplots involved the boys we definitely did get them like split up so of course we had butcher and huey kind of doing their own thing with certain drugs that were happening that were doing certain things because it's like hinted in the trailer but not officially with certain things so again like trying to do like non-spoiler review stuff here then we got mother's milk and M. you know we're diving a little bit deeper with his trauma his ocd his anxiety um his beef with soldier boy because we do get soldier boy back here which we will get to him later hopefully i don't forget we have stuff uh with his daughter and then the stepdad and then like his the stepdad's kind of like obsession with Homelander. We also had like a little, another uh, subplot with uh, Frenchie who's like one of my favorite characters. Even though I don't have a, a pop from him, I, I do need to get his. And then of course uh, Kimiko, that is her name right? I'm probably like fucking that up. But anywho, they had their own little thing. Uh, we kind of go back with uh, Frenchie's kind of past. And their subplot did kind of annoy me because I think we did linger on their stuff like way too long. The only good thing that I did enjoy uh, from that story was him being able to finally not just stay there and like when the owner tells him to sit because of course there's this whole thing of him being the dog, he would stay there and sit and he's like no, he stood up for himself, he got, he found his balls and he um, defended and 
you know, spoke his word. So bravo Frenchie, bravo for that, yes. Uh, but everything else, I did feel like we lingered a little bit too long. It definitely could have been cut down and we could have focused a little bit more on other things. Short from this season, uh, did do really, really great. I feel like she really is coming more on, his, on her own and she is definitely more of a boss here. Like she was really handling and kind of like stepping forward a lot and taking charge. But Huey this season had a lot of like personal kind of deals and relationship problems with Annie and just kind of questioning I guess like his manhood and him being able to protect and and yeah defend Annie. He's kind of going through his own little things um, there as well but it is more like insecurities and then uh, he kind of gets dragged along. Well not really dragged along he joins in with Butcher and decision making that are that are there but again it ultimately all leads up back to wanting to be the stronger person for Annie because he wants to be the manly man and he wants to be needed. A-Train this season didn't annoy me as much as he normally does. A-Train is definitely one of my least favorite characters. Um, I just don't like him. He's just not a very likable person. But of course, that is how he is written. Uh, but he just doesn't make the best decisions. You know, he's all about him. He's all about his endorsements, all about the next movie, all about like the celebrity lifestyle and the, his likes and follows and everything. Uh, but he definitely did have a little bit uh, more this season and he actually had me feeling for him just a bit more but he's still very <sighs> I don't know you guys he's definitely not my favorite and if he were to die like I would be totally okay black noir we actually got a little bit more uh, from him as well he wasn't just there lingering in the back uh, we did get to see his backstory and kind of why he is wearing uh, you know the black mask why he doesn't talk and all that other jazz and then just personal kind of like mental things that happen with him when he is alone and his kind of his thought process and his imagination it was very very interesting i don't know exactly how i feel about that whole imagination thing the deep chase crawford is back this season as well oh my god i love chase crawford and gossip girl but here oh he's just a creepy like asshole who just really didn't learn his lesson i mean obviously in season one he was like this predator right what he did to annie and i mean he was in that cult in season two and then now it's like the escape from the cult of course he got his book deals and like interviews and everything from being in this cult um so he did definitely work his way back to the top because obviously he was basically canceled but because being in the cult there is a very um sexual thing that happens with him and something else and i could you know you can just only imagine i mean he's definitely this version's aquaman so take that into account and i now i'm just concerned about i'm just gonna tell y'all because i want to say this out loud okay he fucks an octopus and now i'm just like the perverts that are watching this show and now i want to like go online on the black market or whatever or go try to trap an octopus out and see if they live by it i don't know and try to do what the deep did with an octopus because people are but let's go on to like crazy ass homelander obviously every season he has been more and more unhinged you guys he's definitely like off his medication off his vault leash and he is like Again, get the kete boy because y'all thought y'all knew me, you didn't know me, and then we got like some crazy ass people out there who are like supporting like this nonsense. And he is like the most insecure like man child that wants like all the approval. And there is nothing more dangerous than an insecure man with these kind of powers. Anthony Starr does absolutely amazing. There are certain like family matters that kind of happen with him as well. Every season he just gets better and better, more scarier and scarier in this season for sure. Like I said, off his vault leash. But we're gonna move on to the newcomer for my Supernatural fans, Dean. He is um in this uh, show now. He plays um Soldier Boy. And he's technically like this version's Captain America, but definitely like the asshole. He's like super in his way, super like macho man. So Soldier Boy technically was like the first official superhero. I don't remember the name of the team, but Black Noir was on his team as well. So he didn't know Soldier Boy. This season we were kind of like time jumping from the past to the present and they actually did it very very well i did enjoy how you know we were learning about this other team about you know like the first you know superhero crew avengers 
Dawn of the Seven. I don't know. I forgot what they were called. But ultimately, this season is about stopping Homelander, as is every season, right? I mean, we're needing to get rid of this very, very dangerous superhero because he's basically like a villain but yeah so the boys you know are trying to find this weapon that took out um soldier boy and boy oh boy the weapon that they found but you know what we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that because i am like so close to giving you guys spoilers did officially get uh, renewed for season four if you've seen uh the boys let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you but before i do give you my score if you haven't already please uh give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to leave your comments down below of what you thought about season three um all that really does help out the algorithm i haven't really talked about the algorithm because i really don't understand the algorithm but it'd be awesome if we can kind of like get this channel up and going with all that said i do think season three is a bingeable series all eight episodes are out for your enjoyment on prime video there are three series three series there are three seasons in total so hopefully season four uh, we'll wrap things up and if it doesn't wrap it up in season four season five i feel should be like the last thing uh for it before this series just kind of starts like declining a lot but i truly did enjoy it um love me the boys and uh yeah that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye